Hi, this is Jack from Maths Forge, and in today's lesson, we're going to be doing volumes of cylinders. So let's take a look at our first example. Here, we're being asked to find the volume to one decimal place. The formula to find the volume for the cylinder is pi r squared multiplied by length. Now, pi r squared gives us the area of a circle, and in this case, it's the cross-sectional area here. Pi r squared gives us this area here. We then take that value and multiply it by the length of the cylinder and this gives us the volume. So now let's go ahead and calculate this. So the area of this face at the front, the circle here, is going to be pi times the radius, which in this case is 21 squared. And then we're gonna multiply this by the length, which in this case is 27. Putting this into our calculators, we end up with the following value, 37,406.9 to one decimal place. And don't forget the units for volume is going to be the units cubed. And since the length is in meters, then the volume is going to be in meters cubed. Then if we check our answer, there it is. Now let's do a two star example. Here we're being asked to find the volume to one decimal place. And so we're going to begin this question in the same way that we began the previous example. And that's to find the cross sectional area of this circle here, the face of the prism. And so this is going to be pi r squared. So it's going to be pi times the radius squared. But in this case, they haven't given us the radius. They've given us the diameter, this 2.4. However, we can get the radius from this simply by halving it because, of course, the radius is half the diameter. So 2.4 divided by 2 is 1.2. And this is our radius. So now I'm going to do pi times the radius squared, which in this case is 1.2 squared. And then we're going to multiply it by the length, which is 2.8. Putting this into our calculator, we get the following value, 12.7 to one decimal place. And don't forget the unit. Since we're calculating volume, it's going to be the unit cubed. And since the length of the sides are in centimeters, then the units of the volume is going to be centimeters cubed. And if we check our answer, there it is. Now let's do a three star example. Here we're being asked to find the radius to one decimal place. So in this case, we're being asked to find a length and they've given us the volume here. It's 16.3 centimeters cubed. So I'm going to go ahead and take my formula for the cylinder volume and replace the values as necessary. So the cylinder volume on this left hand side here, we can actually replace it with the volume that they've given us, which is 16.3. And this is equal to pi r squared. Since we don't know what the radius is, but this is what we're looking for, I'm just going to leave it as r, or in this case, you can leave it as x. They've labeled it as x, but I'm just going to leave it as r. And then this is going to be multiplied by the length, which is 2.3. So now it's just a matter of rearranging for the radius r. The first thing I'm going to cancel from the right hand side is going to be this times 2.3. And we're going to do this by dividing by 2.3 on both sides. This now leaves us with 16.3 over 2.3. And I'm not going to actually calculate the value now because I just checked it in my calculator and it gives you a recurring value. So I'm just going to leave it like this. But on the right hand side, we end up with pi r squared. This times 2.3 has cancelled out with a divide by 2.3. So now the next step to rearrange for r is to get rid of this pi. And we're going to do this by dividing with pi. Don't forget, this is pi times r squared. So to get rid of this pi, we have to divide by pi. And we're going to do this to both sides of the equation. This now leaves us with 16.3 over 2.3 divided by pi. Again, I haven't actually calculated anything on the left hand side. I'm just setting it up to be calculated at the end. Now this is equal to r squared. And for our final step to get r on its own, it's currently being squared. So the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So I'm going to square root both sides of the equation. And this is now going to leave us with the following r on the right hand side and on the left hand side, inputting this into our calculator will end up with 1.5 to one decimal place. So we found the radius in this case to be 1.5 centimeters. And if we check our answer, there it is. And that's it for the lesson on volume of cylinders.